When working on the anime for Boku no My Hero Dysrhythmia, Studio Bones appears to dedicate an entire episode from the season and expanding upon arcs in the manga. They've done this twice now during both Season 2 and 3. The purpose of these episodes appear to be done because Horikoshi didn't or couldn't focus on a character during the original writing of the manga, and so they wanted to give these characters moments of their own. Along with this, in the anime original episodes that Studio Bones creates, they have their own anime original characters. And one of these characters is the genius of the all-girls high school, Saya Academy. Academy, this being Sayako and Telly, and her quirk, IQ. Saiko Intelli is a character who acts as a minor antagonist during the license exam arc of Hiroaka. She appears during the events of episode 55, class 1A, and acts as a foil for Momo, along with giving her, Froppy, Shoji, and Jiro all an explanation on how they passed the first half of the exam. Though the question is, did Studio Bones do a good job imitating Horikoshi's character creation process, and we'll figure this out first by looking into the meaning of her name. Saiko Intelli is an interesting name since it's one of the few names in the entirety of Hiroaka that Horikoshi himself didn't make. Though, it does follow the same basic idea structure of Horikoshi's naming themes, starting first of course with her given name, Saiko, which is interesting on how it's used. First of course you have the fact that Saiko's name itself means talented or clever child how it's spelled, and this plays into her own gifted intellect. Though it's also a homophone for another Japanese word which fits into her character as well. This version of Saiko is translated as the highest or the maximum, which is built upon not only her superiority complex, as Saiko believes herself to be smarter and above those around her, which is reinforced by her crew of lackeys all being head over heels for her, or in how Studio Bones chose to represent her in the anime. As whenever Sako's on screen, she is either the center of attention or the biggest thing on screen. The best example of this is when Momo is explaining Sako's plan. During that moment, we get a low angle POV shot of Sako literally looking down at the audience, which is done to both show that she is above the audience and Momo and the crew. Though after she's defeated, her screen presence is usurped by the UA students. And the reason that Sako was designed to be looking down at people is found within the meaning of her family name, Intelli, which I assume is a first for Hiroaka, as Intelli doesn't actually derive any meaning from a Japanese origin, but in fact, a Germanic one, as the name itself seems to be based on the German word Intelligenzquotient, which was created by psychologist William Stern and used to measure human intelligence as we know it. In English, it translates to intelligence quota and is commonly abbreviated to just IQ, which is also the name of Psycho's quirk. IQ is seemingly a transformation quirk that enhances and transforms formed part of Saiko herself, this being her IQ. The way the quirk works is when Saiko consumes tea, she's able to multiply her natural IQ, which is already 150 to start with, and the better the tea, the better the results. And then when she closes her eyes and focuses, Saiko can then take in all of the information she has gathered and formulate a perfectly logical plan based on that information in a few seconds. This is represented by a string of glowing gold formulas appearing around her, and this quirk basically turns Saiko into a human supercomputer, allowing her to run multiple multiple simulations of what could happen and the best attempt to eliminate any possible chance of failure, which allows her when she's finished to formulate a single perfect plan of attack, also known as her formula for success. And we see that her plans are indeed very well thought out, as in mere moments, with the limited resources on hand, she coordinates a nearly perfect trap for the UA students, though I say nearly perfect because her quirk, much like computers, works on logic and reasoning, so its predictions don't really have the ability to factor in too much random chance or chaos. So suboptimal plays on the part of her victims could actually throw off her plans quite a lot, or of course plays that she never even thought possible. Though this flaw in her core could actually just be a flaw with her personality, as Saiko herself seems to be strictly logical at nature. As seen when she tricks Momo into the room, locking it behind her, she's shocked when Momo's friends actually come to aid her, even though the more logical and practical solution to the problem would be to ignore them, score the free points, and leave. So hopefully this humbling defeat will allow Saiko to improve herself more in the future. Now, Psycho's quirk has a few interesting inspirations found within its design. First, of course, you have the visual representation of her thinking, or her formulas. Now, of course, the visual representation of deep thinking being a person surrounded by mathematic symbols and formulas is pretty old. But given this character's design, the use of her quirk, and her catchphrase, it appears that IQ might have a specific point of origin. And that being one of the main characters from Kamen Rider build, Sento Kiryu. Sento was reflected through Saiko's character in many ways. First, of course, when he finds himself in deep thought, he's surrounded by mathematical formulas. This also happens when he transforms into a rider. This is very similar to how IQ the Quirk is represented. 
especially since both of these formulas appear for the characters when they're using their special power. Along with this, Sento is always talking about his winning formulas, which has become sort of a catchphrase for his character during the series. Much like how Psycho refers to her plans as her formulas for victory or her winning formulas. And finally, when Sento is possessed and acts as an antagonist for the run of build, he has bright white hair. And this is seen in Psycho's bright white hair in her design, along with her more underhanded and villainous actions during the license exam. Along with this, her quirk's relation to tea is also based on something interesting in real life. You see, green tea, and other teas like it, have a similar effect on the body. Because you see, drinking tea actually is shown to help clear one's mind, allowing them to think easier and focus on things better. Thus, it makes sense that drinking tea would activate a thinking-based quirk like IQ. Now, Saiko's entire character is designed specifically to be a foil to Momo in this episode, as she seems to be specifically structured to show Momo's changes throughout the series. Since Saiko is Momo at the beginning of the series. She's popular, ultra smart, and thinks first and acts later. She's a girl riding on her own high status at the top of the school, and she needs to be knocked down a peg or two. Which is why, specifically, Momo is the one who figures out and topples Saiko and her crew. And she does this not only by acting as a true leader in the situation, but as a hero in the most UA way possible. By going beyond what is expected of you in a fight. And this is even pointed out by Saiko herself, when she questions why a UA high-class student would take such a major risk during such an important exam, literally saying that Momo is beyond her expectations. So when Momo fully overcomes Saiko in this fight, shows that she has officially put this weakness of hers behind her and can finally move on to improve in other ways. Which is exactly the point of episode 55, to show that everyone in class A has grown beyond who they were at the beginning of the series. Though instead of focusing on Deku and Bakugo like it does in the manga, Studio Bones opted into demonstrating this through other characters as well. Now there's one final bit of interesting information that I can find from Saiko, and it comes specifically from her design and her school of origin. Though I'm not saying that this is intentional, I just thought it was neat. So, Saiko's designed with a monocle. This, of course, is done because of her name's European origins, and it wanted to give her a European flair while also demonstrating that she's intelligent, so a monocle is the perfect thing to use. But also, during the 20th century, there was an art movement around monocles, specifically around the German area, where they became a symbol for lesbians. Now, this information mixed with Saiko's devout followers and her all-girl school that means divine love might be implying that Psycho's followers might love her more than just as a leader. But again, this is only a bit of fun speculation, so I'm not sure if this actually matters to a character, especially given the fact that Psycho was just a minor antagonist created by Studio Bones, but I think they did a really good job creating a hero antagonist, as she's someone you could easily see becoming a hero in the future. Just, she needed to be taught a lesson or two first. And so maybe one day we'll actually see a truly magnificent rescue hero come from Psycho. Though, it all depends on whether or not Horikoshi chooses to acknowledge her, though it would be unoptimal not to. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like in the future, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash guy. And if you want to increase your own IQ, well, first you get to pick up a copy of Shimonetta at buyshimonetta.com.